What's up guys? I am tackling our outside door number two. Um, a few months ago, I replaced the door handle on the front door. We've been having a lot of issues with this back door where you turn it and it doesn't open right away. Unlike my demonstration right here, where it worked perfectly fine. So I'm going to be replacing it here with a matte black handle. It's gonna look similar to the front door. Um, instead of having a turning knob, we're gonna have the long one here. And then I'll be replacing the deadbolt as well. Um, not that we really use that anyway, but I'll be replacing those. I'll also be replacing the hinges on this door. Now, as you can see, they're all rusted out. They actually are a little bit squeaky as well. So I have got some silent door hinges. Oh, how big are these? These are four inches. They're exactly the same as the ones that I have on there right now. So it should be pretty easy. The way I'm going to be doing that is I'll probably start at the top and I'll just replace one at a time. So I don't have to take the whole door off because that would just be silly. So the only thing that I really need for this project is my DeWalt drill with the Phillips head bit and that should be it. So let's get started on making this door a little bit easier to access. I'm going to start off by taking off the deadlock first, the deadbolt first. Um, it's actually very rusty, so I have to open the door because it doesn't quite line up and fit inside its little hole. So, take this off. to take off this front panel as well and that's how I will be able to get the actual Oops, dead bolt out. Screws are a bit stripped actually. Okay. There's that. Don't forget to take off the door mount. Hopefully they're the same size. Oh that was rusty. Very rusty. Check that out. I don't know if you can see it, but the top of it is like completely rusted. So is this one. There we go. I can like see the inside of the house here. It's like good insulation. Probably not great. First thing I'll be doing in the first part of the top half um, is putting the deadbolt itself back in. It fits right into the spot that is already there, so I'm gonna put that in. Um, making sure that the top is in the top. My head's out of the thing. My top, The top is in the top and not the bottom, otherwise it won't work. So checked, made sure that was correct. And that fits right in the hole so I can screw it in. And that's that bit. Okay, now I've got that in, I can put the lock in. So the turn piece is gonna be on the inside and the lock piece is gonna be on the outside. I'm gonna put it the right way up and make sure I can see that. And I will be putting that right through here. And then I can put the turning right on there. I have to make sure that it is in fact out and that it will line up with the inside. Using my extra long screws. Let's go in. Make sure that they're lined up with this. Which they are not quite. Oh, there we go. Okay, one, two. Lined up. There we go. That works. Okay, so the problem that I ran into with the new set is that this hole is completely ginormous compared to this new one. So this is the new one, this is the old one, not even close. However, 
The holes do line up enough and I did test the size of the locking mechanism that I can just keep using the old one. So even though I like to have things nice and new, um, I am going to just simply put this one back on. Good. Okay, the first section is done. Let's give it a test. Close the door. And now it actually works, unlike it did before. Uh, so the next one will be this handle. I'm gonna do the same thing. Take off the front here and then take off the mechanism and just like fully replace it. And that's that, ready to switch. So first things first, put this back in. Um, I'm going to actually just leave the door frame, the door jam clip, I don't know what it's called. I'm gonna leave that in because I think that's gonna be the same situation where it's just different shape. But if I can make it work, I can make it work. And I want this to go this way, right side up. I'm gonna show you why I'm doing it this way. So as you can see, there's the latch here. If I put it on backwards and you try to close the door, it's not gonna work. Okay, you've gotta have the sloped end so that it can attach. So this way, correct way, new screws, not that one. Grab the wrong one. So now I have to get these two put together and it looks like the, the lock has to be a certain way in order for them to fit together properly. So up and down, up and down. I'm gonna put the lock on the outside like so. And hopefully this will clip right in they have it lined up properly, perfect. Now I've got my two screws, which I will hopefully have this lined up. Let's have a look. No, not lined up. I think this is gonna be easy because it's like up and down. So it's to go up and down. Now it can match up. Now I'll lock it. Let's see if it'll just sit there. Okay, I can see that it's lined up. So go to your hole. Okay, could not for the life of me get those things lined up, but it's done now. So let's have a look at the new setup. So much better. I did have a problem with this earlier, actually. There we go. Now we have our door done. The first part is over. Now we will be doing the hinges. I've got a casualty down there too. RIP, we've had an accident and we've lost a friend. I'm gonna have to go to him, but anyway. One, two, three, sorry it's a bit dark. The light is very bright outside. Well, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the top first. Um, we'll be taking out all of the screws, taking off that hinge, and then replacing it with one of these. Looks pretty much the same as the one that's on there already. Just updated, and then I've got all my screws, all my screws here too. So let's get going, taking this thing off. <sighs> Hinge goes this way. Oh. Just 
gonna start with two because I can at least get back on track. Okay. All right, let's see how she goes. All right. Do the rest. And there we go. And there we have it guys, a whole new door set up. The squeaky hinges are gone. Now we've got some nice quiet ones. This door actually opens now without a problem. So I am pretty happy with how that turned out. Nice matte black appearance on the finishes. Uh, yeah, I recommend switching up some of your handles if you're having problems with the, the knob. Um, they're really not that bad. I think it was $75 at Lowe's, each one of those hinges was like 15 bucks so upgraded the door and now it actually works um like i said we had a lot of problems with that turning up so yeah come back next week see what else i find around the house that i can figure out and fix up see ya